Welcome back. We're continuing the news. Five members of West Malan based Kings Valley Gang have been charged for various crimes, including murder and armed robbery under the anti-gang legislation. The new charges followed several of the gang's members being freed last July for lack of evidence. Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey says the new charges and arrest of members of the Kings Valley Gang from Westmoreland happened after the men were acquitted of charges under the anti-gang legislation last July. He says seven suspects were arrested after a joint police operation. Five have since been charged with being a part of a criminal organization. The persons arrested are Kevin Christopher Wilson, O.C. Bamson, 38 years old, waiter of Kings Valley, Kenesha Shanice Moody, 19 years old. Miss Moody is a girlfriend of the Kings Valley gang leader, Derval Williams, O.C. Lukey, and she was arrested at Lukey's residence. A subsequent search of the premises was conducted in which 15 9 mm ammunitions and 9.38 ammunition were found in Miss Moody's purse. Miss Moody was subsequently arrested and charged for illegal possession of ammunition. Our investigation has also revealed that Miss Moody was acting on behalf of Williams in the sale of guns and ammunition. Orville Orlando Jones, O.C. Bigger, Joel Rankin, O.C. Anderson, and Jeremy Lindo were also arrested. DCP Bailey says they committed crimes under the instruction of the Kings Valley gang leader, Derville Williams, O.C. Lukey, who has been remanded for charges of proposing and conspiring to murder. The crimes identified include murder, shooting, and wounding with intent. Burglary, robbery, extortion, larceny of motor vehicle, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. A businessman was also charged in relation to having stolen vehicle in his possession. Five motor vehicles were seized from this particular business, which were stolen during incidents of murder, shooting, or robberies. Big Yard Auto Parts and its owner, Ted Robinson was charged with five counts of unlawful possession of property and receiving stolen property, among other charges. The police are also searching for other members of the gang. Kirk Wright, TVJ News. Clarendon residents are being warned to stay away from gangs. The appeal comes amidst an increase in the recruitment of women into criminal gangs. Cody Ann Barrett reports. The Clarendon police seized this 9mm Taurus pistol during an operation in the Long Gully community in Effortville. Over 20 houses were targeted in the operation. 15 people were taken into custody in relation to the gun and ammunition seizure. Head of operations for the Clarendon Police, Superintendent Christopher Phillips, said the arrest in Effortville add to the trend on how gangsters are recruiting. We also observe that there's an increase in females' involvement um, in these kind of organized gang activities taking place in the communities. So we want to appeal to persons to be very mindful not to get caught up in these. The police say the masterminds and gangs are starting to find more roles for women. Most times during the investigations um, and, you know, you're doing the assessment on intelligence, you recognize that the females are playing a very active role within these these gangs we might not you know have enough to hold them sometimes but they there are indications that they are actively involved the security forces have arrested or neutralized several of the parish's major crime producers and that is beginning to have an impact on the crime levels in communities in terms of major crimes uh, the figures going down we still not comfortable and we're going to continue to press on to focus heavily on gangsters operating in Clarendon. So 
persons who consider themselves gangsters operating in Klein and during this time. Just know that we're going to come at you. Cody and Barrett, TVJ News.